Okay, old lady, either you tell me what I need to know or I'm gonna hit you with my rusty broadsword. It's pretty rusty. That look like it'll hurt. I mean, I don't know what will break first. Might be you. Might be my absolutely terrible broadsword. Let's get on with it. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name is Rabbit Luigi. In the last episode, we got to Kakariko Village, uh, and we found Impa. She's absolutely terrifying. She has something she wants to tell us, but not quite yet. That looks like some funky artwork. I like it. Looks like concept art for this game. There's a thought. Hello. The words that the princess risked to li her life to impart to you. I cannot pass them to on to someone who lacks conviction. You think I lack conviction? It's gonna, you know, gonna fight you. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Yes. That's why I'm here in the presence of you, because you're terrifying. Ha! Uh, not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. The sleep didn't do a damn thing. I'm f fighting fresh and ready to go. Very well. Since you've lost your memory, I'll recount for you all that has happened. Story spoiler cutscene thing. Escape if you want. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of... Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Oh, even further back in time. You keeping up? Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. You got like bonfires or something? They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Early prediction, there are boss fights. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. I would love to play that Zelda game. Where you're surrounding Ganon in evil octopus creatures. Sounds like fun. A hundred years ago! That sounds about right. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the... Yeah, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. Oh, history lessons. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that great mistake again, the princess left you with these words. Anything interesting? Oh. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Uh, 
I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory, but I'll ask again. The four, the four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who, who Ganon defeated. The divine beast. Oh fuck me! V <laughs> oh god, Varudania, Varudania, I like it. Controlled by Darak of the Gorons. Oh god, the divine beast Var Meadow, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. Oh no, it's gonna be fine. Um, the divine beast Varuta. That's not type. That's not so bad. Controlled by Mifa of the Zora. And Divine Beast Vanoboris, controlled by Obuso Obosa of the Gerudo, Gerudo. I don't know, my mind is broken. It will be extremely ill advised to face Ganon, but with the help of the Divine Beast to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beast that was stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. More, important, more information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Okay. Well, that's quite simple. I would like it, just as a guess, before we go anywhere. Whatever order we like would be quite interesting. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. We must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. So you might think I'll go to, like, the one in the in the right. Not going there. It, seem, it seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now, let's see. It's a bit inconvenient that my, uh, my... Sheikah Slate is incomplete. You could have given me like an update, a software update before I was put into stasis. Some someone at the research lab in Hateno Hateno Village is fine. Might be able to help you. Where's this? I hear you ask. Yes, I don't know. Oh god, so that's even further away. The location shining on the eastern edge of is Hateno Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. So it's completely safe, Lock Mementos. It's all a main quest. We haven't found a lot of side quests so far. Maybe I should do more asking around. You're Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. God, when you open your eyes and, like, really, like, widen your eyes, it becomes terrifying in, in the worst way possible. This house seems quite small, but then again, I guess Impa is quite small. Uh, we're gonna read, uh, Paya's Diary. I will get back to that at a different stage, because that seems like it'd be fun. Uh, I'm kind of looking around for chests, or anything of bountiful usefulness. Uh, let's read Paya's Diary, because there's nothing up here other than it. Uh, it looks like Paya's Diary. Yeah, sure, let's read it. Uh, Grandmother says she conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie F oh, I said, f I was gonna say Farah, that's a different thing. Pura? Pura? Pura. God, these names. Hundred years ago, they decided to put a lone swordsman into a long sleep so as to prepare for a time that was foretold in legends. The name of that swordsman is Link. It could be Jackass? We're not entirely sure. The scriptures are a little bit fuzzy on that. Hope it's Jackass. Since then, uh, Grandmother has been waiting for him to appear after all this time. I, too, pray that he awaken soon, for the sake of Hyrule and for Grandmother's sake as well. Well, isn't that just lovely? Um, I, it's a problem. You can't name yourself anything other than hello. You just turned here randomly. My master Link! Oh, ah. God. Is anything the matter? Anything at all? Can I help you in any way? I mean, what's the ball? She seems very flirty. That's fine. Ah. This this priceless artifact here? Is that what you want to know about? This is the Sheikah heirloom that we have long protected. The hero, as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom, will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. With these words as our guide, we have watched over this sacred artifact since my grandmother's grandmother's time. That's hard to say. And ever since her grandmother's grandmother's time before that. I cannot say that I entirely know the meaning of these of these words, but I know that I know but now that I think about it, the hero as chosen chosen by the Sheikah heirloom. Could it be? Can I have a look? Please don't hesitate. To, to let me know if I can ever be of service. Uh, I'll go, because there's a lot of people to talk to. G good, good luck. Uh, I would like to know about the ball. Can I, like, cuddle that ball? It seems like it might be important to me. I'll get to the ball. I'll go fight someone. It's fine. Uh, where do we go now? Fine question. <clears throat> we have been given... Not a lot of loading screens. Well, there's a, there are a lot of loading screens, but not like in large areas like this where you thought there would be from going in and out of areas like that. I'll nick some apples. Um... Yeah, we have kind of an interesting open stance here, where I guess we probably should actually go to here on the on the uh, the count that we've kind of lost our, um, our, our our markers for each individual tribe, which is going to help us get to the divine beast. That's kind of interesting. I also kind of just want to hang around here for a little bit. A, a red exclamation mark implies there's some kind of quest going on. Today's dinner is veggie cream soup. It's super nourishing and fortifying. Well, that's what they say anyhow. It must be true. I think you're a girl. Uh, all you need to do is toss, to, toss a swift carrot, rock salt, and fresh milk in a pot and stew it up. Then voila, so yummy. I have like none of them. 
Oh no! C Coco is full out of swift carrots! What a problem. But Coco promised to make Kotler... What are these names? Some hasty veggie cream soup? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll put it in my quest journal. Thank you so much. Okay, Coco just needs one swift carrot. Just one and Coco can get cooking. Coco will be waiting for you here. Then once it gets dark out, Coco will have to head home. Uh, never trust anybody of any sort, of any age, of any gender. Who's speaking third person? It's a little creeping. It's a little bit sort of... Uh, I wouldn't say narcissistic. It's it's a different problem than that. Uh, we have markers on our mini-map in the bottom right. We see a moon here. What does the moon mean? Not sure. Shut I in. Uh, I might need the health. Ignore things in the background. It's not important. Hello. Are you are you awake? You're a guy. Ah, are you a, a, a guest? I suppose so. You scared me half to death. Uh, well, the, the regular bird is- Oh, fuck you! Oh, fuck you. Why am I so poor? Okay, I need some money, don't I? I how do I do it? How do I- mm, Guess we go back out to the wild and fight things and get money. Because money doesn't seem to be dropping from enemies in my thinking, so... Maybe we find some kind of trading post? Like a curious quiver? I'm- Everything must be explored. We'll spend this episode looking around Kakariko Village trying to- Oh, we can't afford anything in here either. Yeah, yeah. We've got a bow, but not really. I can't remember the last time we had a customer in here. Everyone sounds the same, I'm sorry. I don't know. Young folks in this village don't have much time for a bow. It's a thrill to see a young lad like you come walking into my shop. Well, don't mind me, take a look around. I want to sell, I can only sell. Uh, what are you going to sell me? I'm so excited to find out. Problem is, I've got all these things. These might be really useful. I could sell some of my equipment. Uh, you could, do, you want some, do you want some censored food? I kind of want to eat that myself and see what happens. What are the expensive things here? Rock salt? No. Oh, the opal is good. Contains the power of water. I should try selling some of these. But then, oh, the amber is actually really good. But, um, maybe you sell the things I'm not wearing? Yeah, sell the things I'm not wearing because, um, I don't really see the value of keeping it with me at the moment. Maybe don't go to the inn now, even though we could probably afford it. Um, yeah, I don't... I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried because if I sell things like uh, the amber or the opal, which are pretty good, uh, pretty good if I want to sell them for actually mu getting some money, but uh, I, if I get the feeling we'll need that later is my massive concern. Chicken, you're dangerously close to that roaring fire kind of feel like you should just dive in and give me some glorious chicken legs. This is a goddess. It's a tiny goddess statue of like a bib or an apron. Oh, I was saving up a cough. That's fine. So this is where I get some spirit orbs. Offer me great power. I need four more. I'd like to go to some shrines just to get some more spirit orbs. And I kind of want to see what a stamina vessel does because it seems mildly important. Iron Troom. Another question. Do we have a... Is this our limited space? I imagine we don't get any more. Can we pick up more items? Or is this just... Uh, oh no, hang on. So, everything has at least- everything has one page as it starts. Is there a limit to how much we can hold? We can only hold so many weapons, and so many bows and arrows, and so many shields, but when we get to materials, we can hold, like, two pages. Was it always two pages? Or was it only two pages now we've got enough for then to be a need for two pages? I'm not so sure. I'm trying to find more houses so I can, like, fight somebody, or trade something, or craft something, or- I'm, oh, you know, I'm very scatterbrained. Have, it, have I mentioned that yet? I feel like I should mention it more often. Open world games, which I've never played before. Not a chance of me doing the right thing at the right stage. Never gonna happen. This house is basically empty. Why well, I'm gonna smack it with my- okay. Well, I'm gonna smack it with my sword. Nothing here reacts to anything, which is mildly disappointing, but... Maybe that's somebody's important house at a later date. Anything else around here? I kind of want to do a shrine this episode, just because... I haven't done one in like two episodes. That's such a long period of time. Is this a split? Uh, can I have it? <laughs> this might be a swift carrot. This might solve a quest immediately. Can I be sneaky and take this under the cover of darkness? Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. I don't know. I'd like to find a house where I can live and just not worry about any of the problems in the world, but like where I can do things. I can't. This beds. Can I sleep in a bed? I'd like to sleep in a bed. Ah, uh, I could sleep by a campfire. We found all the civilization. I'm very reluctant to leave it, but I feel like we kind of have to to get a get a sort of uh, forward momentum rather than just sort of get too hung up about this. So I'm gonna find a place to warp to. I have found a bombable thing. I shall blow it up my other explodey thing and hopefully get some kind of bountiful reward. These are nice looking chests, which make me think that it will actually give me something good. It's actually quite bad. Oh man, you give me a chance to get some kind of stealth equipment which makes me virtually silent, I will tear your hand off for that. 
Um, here's a bomb arrow, because that seems like fun. Then we just ruin everything they've ever wanted to do in life. So that, I, I feel like I'm maybe not the bad guy. Don't feel like the bad guy. Hello. I've killed all of your friends. Would you like to fight me? Pretty sure you would. Nearly got rid of my uh, rusty claymore as well, because I kind of want to get rid of the shit weapons. Because I don't really know. I hope that we can get some really good, durable weapons later down the line. But for now, we'll stick with the rusty shit, because that's all we've that's all we can really deal with. Would like to know if there's anything interesting in all of this. We could have probably sold some of these Bokoblin fangs and horns, considering we've got so many of them, and we haven't really found a useful. Ah, I itched my nose and whacked my microphone. Ignore that. I'm just putting my pop filter back in. Oh, you, 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 I. Very much am interested. I'll show you this because I just tried it out without commentary. I can throw it. Actually ask me to catch it with an A button. Oh, that's hard because I, I, I missed it the first- I see a horse. Is that a horse? I see a horse. Fucking A. Fucking A. I see more than one horse. I get a choice of horse. We can eat the other ones. I don't know. We could probably eat the other ones. Let's, let's think about that for a second. We've got to be careful about this. Got to be sneaky about this. They are escaping me at a, quite a- Quite a vast rate of knots, but I would still like a horse. Oh, and there's- What the fuck are you? You're not an Octorok, Octoroks are water creatures. What the hell am I supposed to make of that? Get back to where the f get Get back to the water. Where did my horses go? I want all of them. Are you scaring off my horses? You better fucking not be. I will catch up to them. Really starting to wish I bought that stealth cloak now, but it was quite expensive. We can't really make any kind of- um, special allowances for uh, equipment when we may need other things. Do you want a blue horse or do you want a, a re an orange horse? The brown horse seems quite far away. I kind of want a blue horse because that seems wacky as all hell. I'm I'm a sneaky man. I, I know what to do. I've seen it in a trailer. It will be mine. I will call it Jackass out of respect for our fallen brethren. If only we can get one. Gonna be sneaky. Gonna be the sneakiest man who's ever been sneaky before. I want the blue one now. I kind of want the brown. <clears throat> I kind of want the brown one, but the blue one just seems unique and interesting. What button would you like me to press, game? Pick a button. Any button? Mount! I shall mount this wild steed! Uh, soothe. Whoa, soothe. Soothe. It's okay. It's okay. I'm your friend. And you're my friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. I like my new found horse. I am pleased. Mother, I am pleased. Is anybody awake at half nine in the evening? I'd like to register my new found amazing horse of, of, of shining nobility. Oh, God, I need to stop. I need to stop. Stopping the horse is not that hard. Oh, God, we got way past. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. I don't need the inn. I need the horse thing. Huh, I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? I do not tell me more than allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. Network of stables. That implies there's lots of you and I can have more than one horse. I like this. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. You think? When did that happen? I'm not riding one or anything. If you catch one and ride it here to, to, to register it, it will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses, and you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know how to catch- No, I don't know. I know how you fool. Oh, pardon me. Let me start over. Hey. Uh, welcome to our stable. Uh, we're going over this again. So what will it be? I'm gonna register a horse, okay, gotcha. Uh, stamina, gentle temperament. It looks amazing. Uh, the bond is a little bit awful, but that's okay. I'd like to name it. Registration. Oh, that's okay. 20, 20, it's fine. Glad we sold things today. Because if, if that was the obstacle which stopped us from registering our amazing horse, I would be uh, inconsolable. What's my button? There we go. Okay, so it's jackass for horse. That's not entirely confusing in any way. Everyone understand that? Wonderful. It allows me that name. I'm so pleased. I'm so... You have no idea how pleased. Indescribably, inconsolably pleased. That's not even a thing. I'd like to take my new horse with me. Can you can you apply the the the, the mm. every oh yes. Yes, we look the part. I love it. Oh, and by the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it'll come running. I am I'm very happy. I am pleased with the progress we've made this episode. But your horse isn't magic, it can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. I am 
very pleased. I was I wasn't sure if I'd be uh, making any episodes today because I'm quite far ahead of my my own internal schedule. But now I am pleased. I have done a good thing. We're going to go this direction. Does our horse? This is an important question. I can't remember what game I was playing recently where this is the case. Does it have health? Because if it has health and can die to enemy attacks and not just take damage, because you know I imagine it will take damage, will fall off. But um, if it can die gonna have a difficult time learning to love this game, I feel. It's okay. This game's probably wonderful, but if you take my horse away from me, I'm gonna have problems, okay? I'll shoot you with not that arrow. Not that arrow. Not that arrow. Not this arrow is more more, more my speed. I'll shoot you with... Oh, gyroscopic. Gyroscopic, not a problem. Oh, I got two in one. That's that's pretty spectacular. Anyway, how, how long am I gonna go on for now? Well, we've suddenly got this ability to move very fast, so... I imagine quite a little while now. I'd like to get at least into the next quadrant. We are skipping a lot of things. I don't think we're missing any shrines out. Mainly, mainly uh, enemy encampments of some sort. Hearing noises. I think it's just weird incidental. What's up, horse? There's a lot of a uh, lot of guardians around here, isn't there? We'll just go through because this looks horrible. Fort Hetano. You know, you don't like this horrendous sight. I mean, I can't blame you. Can we get off? Maybe we'll just leap off. That's okay. You've done me proud. You've done me proud, fine noble steed. If I whistle, will you come through? You gonna come through? Or is this- Oh no, you're gonna come through! Yeah! Why couldn't you go through before? Why did that- Why did that shake- Okay. I was say, why did that shake the ground? It didn't actually? Okay. Couple things. Uh, don't hurt me. Also, don't hurt my fucking new- new horse! My amazing new horse, which will help me in my quest to come. Fuck you. Fuck it all. What am I hit? I'm hitting you with my boomerang. That is how desperate I am to avenge the injury that my horse sustained. It's only over there. That's a, that's fine. I'm now very protective over my horse. I, I don't care. I want these. Boomerang does have durability. I'd like to use it as a boomerang occasionally. How are you, sir? Hiya. My name's Garrel. Come to come to Garrel. That's sad. Uh, come to see Fort H Hateno. Hateno. Hateno's fine. I take it. Yes. Um. I figured as much, it's well worth seeing. Fort Hateno here was the last line of defense between Hateno Village and the awful tragedy all those years ago. Everyone's got to come and pay their respects at least once in a life, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I would, I would like to do some cooking. Cook all the apples at once, we're making apple sauce now! It should be delicious, yeah! Just gonna make lots of- okay, that's not what I expected to make. This is better. Make- it heals me for a lot of health, that's the wrong menu. Haven't done that all that much this episode. I would like to make... I don't really know. We haven't got that many food items. You've got one of these. Hyrule herb. Let's, let's, you know, stamella mushroom and a Hyrule herb. Maybe something awful? Don't know. No. Something successful. Energizing steamed mushrooms. Steamed mushrooms. Oh, game, you do spoil me. Anything else? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe just cook this on its own and see what it is. See what it creates. Just like a... Cooking herbs don't doesn't generally give any kind of value to them on their own. Usually with something else. Fried wild greens. That actually sounds like something I'd like to eat right this very second. We have an interesting repertoire at our disposal. Link is absolutely thrilled. Where are our recipes? Because that was said to be something we could do somewhere. Recipes? These are side quests. Uh... Destroy Ganon is like our main quest, of course it is. I'm gonna continue this way, I think at least until we find Fort Hateno. Very hard to say. Horse is looking good. I would be very displeased if we lost our horse for any reason. Just giving you a heads up when it inevitably happens at some point. I am very distracted. Very distracted on an almost daily basis. Hello, old man. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to seal, spur to the seal from the shrine. I know what you mean. They take a lot of damage. I'm not wrong, am I? It must be around there. It must be around there? What are you up to, old man? What's going on? Man, man with glasses. Ha! Let me guess. You caught me caught wind of the great Caleb's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him for yourself. Ha! No? Don't tell me you've, you've never even heard of me after I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines? Ah. Uh, well, you better not rem you better remember my name, for it's for not the last you hear of it. And while I'm at it, it's Dr. Callop, if you please. I don't- st I didn't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Callop. What did you study? Are there doctorates? Who gives out doctorates in- in post-apocalyptic Hyrule? 
kind of. Everyone forgets I'm a doctor for some reason. Oh. And since you asked, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient texts. I haven't the time for idle chit chat. You tell me about ancient texts. Mm. You look like someone from Twilight Princess. Soon, my, soon my long years of research will be revealed, and all the world will hail it as the discovery of the century. I prevent any undue, undue attention. I haven't even told my family about my work. Oh, you understand? I'm sure. Of course, Doctor Caliph. Yeah, I told called you, Doctor. Ah, oh, I can I can get in your pants. It's oh. fine. Did I just hear you call me Doctor? As in, not merely Caliph, but Doctor Caliph? It rolled off your tongue so naturally. It was downright saliv salivary. That's a, I've never even heard of that word. I love it. You strange man. Huh, this changes things. Oh. Well, very well then. I'm feeling charitable, so I'll let I'll let a few things spill. This is just between us. Understand? When a dark light presides in the cursed statue's eyes, please its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Oh. I'm still in the process of deciphering that one, so I don't suppose there's any harm in sharing it with you. That's my life in a nutshell. Days filled with researching shrines and nights spent studying ancient texts. You have a very interesting life. That leads and leaves no time for converse with passing strangers, so farewell. That's wonderful. You strange man. Cursed statue. Interesting. I would like to sleep before you get there. Uh, morning. That sounds like fun. Won't be fighting random enemies in the middle of nowhere. Doing okay on time. We have done quite a lot this episode, but I want to do more. I have plenty of hard drive space and plenty of time to spend playing this game today, but even so, I'm on a roll. I feel like we can we can do more. We've done lots, we can do more. I have a blue horse. You think I you think I'm gonna stop here? Let me just get off my horse for a second, because I see all sorts of ingredients out in out of shot, really. Should pick these up whenever I can, really, because they don't do that much on their own, but you give, you know, you have a chance to cook them, and they do a lot. Did that not have any bees in it? Was that why it was shining? That seemed to be what it is. Course of bee honey, absolutely. That means I don't have to fight bees or run away from bees, more likely. Uh, we still looking for... Hang on, where's my... this one? We're not gonna get there. That's, of course, not gonna happen, but we can kind of try and chew jellies, ignore them, don't need to fight them. We can try and get to some kind of representative of civilization would be nice. And then maybe end it off there. Where is Fort Hatano? Hateno? Hateno sounds more likely and more relevant. Controlling the horse. Okay, controlling the horse isn't that bad. I think the problem is is trying to uh, do a yar when you're not really straight. It's not that, not that easy. Oh god, I'm so distracted. This game is just distraction, the, the video game. I see something over there, that might be a, a... That is a shrine. Maybe I'll just go towards that. Hello, sir! I should do a backflip on my horse and say hi to you. Hello! Or are you a woman? You're a woman. Okay, that's fine. That's that's absolutely okay. I can tell you've trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga... Yes! Yiga clan? I don't know. What? You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. The, the Yiga clan, it's... Something incredible. A powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga... In, he's from Pokemon now. Different spelling. And dedicated to defeat, defeating the hero thought, defeating a hero thought long dead. It's a bit oh. confusing. I will take your life. Really? We're doing this now. Okay. That seems very fair. I mean, why? I understand why. But also, fuck it. Uh, traveler's claymore. I want like a thing which is actually kind of good. I'll use this. Sure. Hello. Disappeared. Gonna come back. I'm sure. Okay, there's the- oh god, this is very interesting all of a sudden. I didn't expect this kind of thing to happen in the, in my video game. I was expecting a, a simple pathway- I'm, she's actually gonna kill me, isn't she? Probably is. Can I kill her first? No is the answer. It's concerning that I don't actually have to talk to her. As in I get close and she'll interrupt and try and fight me. A little bit terrifying. Very terrifying. I have a plan. More of a plan than I had before. I have a shield this time. You fight me, and I'll fight you. If I can find where you're going. Yeah, fucking try it. I always have a range weapon. Uh, which sometimes works. Yeah, fucking try it. Fucking try it! Yeah! This is like the hardest fight we've had in the game so far. You have my interest. I like it. Oh god. Ninjas? Ninjas when I'm- I- I- I do combat so- so sort of haphazardly and so clumsily because I haven't really got some kind of consistent weaponry yet. It's terrifying. Because they're, they're like so much better at doing what they want to do than I am. But I have a vicious sickle. I like it. I can't carry it, but I like it. Mighty bananas, not just normal bananas. <laughs> Mighty bananas, oh no. And some actual money. Whoa. Whoa, okay. <laughs> That's the strangest occurrence in this video. Or this episode, or something. Fuck the rusty broadsword, they're not that good. 
vicious sickle is now mine. Mount my noble jackass. On we go. Are you- are you a member of the clan as well? I will fight you as well while we're here. Oh, it's fine. I'm gonna talk to everybody. Hey, the name's Telly. I'm a bit of a treasure hunter if you get my drift. I'm just, I'm just a short hike west from here. It's just a short white crab something from Fort Hateno. Let's see what- uh, let's see, what can I tell you about that place? Um, uh, nothing really comes to mind. Hey, question for you. Do you have any interesting guardian remains? What have you got? I don't know. What catches your eye? Oh, these things. So I have some of these. I don't really know what they're for. Uh, it's used in ancient machinery, so I don't really don't really know what that is. Do you need anything else? Nah, I'm gonna go. Would like to end the episode at some point. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to find some kind of civilization, <clears throat> some kind of civilization we can go to and have sign of some kind of end note to my episode, rather than I'm gonna leave you in the middle of a field and come back later. Seems like a little bit of a dumb thing. Uh, it seems like there's not a lot of civilization around. Isn't that supposed to be a fort, or is it just a ruined fort? Because ultimately you didn't succeed against Calamity Ganon, who is like Calamity Jane, which is like a musical, but it's like Ganon. Calamity... Someone someone photoshopped that. That sounds amazing. I only, I only know that Calamity Jane is a musical because I did a uh, an orchestra pit for it occasionally. That was good. Um, more things to blow up. I shall do that very much so. I've actually gotten quite good at judging the range of the blast radius. I'm pleased with that. More amber is quite good. We did get 20 rupees from fighting a ninja, so it's uh, tantamount to basically the same monetary value as fighting a ninja, so... Um, maybe, maybe a bit better than fighting a ninja. We killed something by running it over. I love it. I will fight you. Oh, don't, don't, don't hurt the horse. Don't hurt the horse. Don't go off the- No! Horse just went off the edge! What just happened? Horse is having a wonderful time. My, my boomerang just broke. Should have ended the episode off a long time ago. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I I, I killed a, I killed a bird. Now we're fighting this. Who has some, some kind of hoe? You're a hoe. Farming hoe. Actually, quite good. I, I I don't know. Is the second number what that is? Can I get my horse back now? Raw bird drumstick. Lovely. Um, horse, can you come back? Oh, it seems Jackass couldn't hear your call. Is it dead? I'm gonna go find out. I don't know, it could be dead. It is maybe dead? Maybe not dead. Hello? You're having a wonderful time? Oh, things are shooting at me! Can I can I ride the horse while underwater? We're gonna die, because we, we have no way of getting out the water. Oh god! That's really bad. Okay. Uh, this game remember Luigi. This has been Let's Play uh, this game, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the next episode, I'm going to try and make sense of this situation, which I'll admit is a little bit bizarre and not very good. Uh, and, yeah, try... It's, it'd be nice if my horse is just there, since I died. My horse just there? Uh... Mm, nope, my horse is somewhere else. Maybe we have to go back to the stables. I may go back to the stables. It'll make my life a lot easier. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.